Hello and welcome back to the Cove with more EU4 Anglophar. We're here in Australia because we're going to help out our little buddy nation. We're going to go to war for them. Now at the moment they've already done a great job and they've already gone to war for some land, but we can help them do even better. And that way we can finally get rid of some of our troops here and put them in more useful places than uh, trying to deal with everybody here. So with that, how about uh, we go ahead and declare a war? Now they are going to pull in a couple of buddies, but honestly, I don't particularly mind. We can uh, deal with them immensely easily. Now that's what, 25,000 men I believe they have, but uh, compared to our 19,000, but we do have cannons, I think it's going to be a uh, very solid victory, especially when you consider attack level 5. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and declare a war and uh, have ourselves a little bit of fun. So, catch them out nice and quickly, that's always nice. Unfortunately, we're not able to do a holy war, but uh, at this point, I'm not sure that it particularly matters. Uh, let's grab a little bit of cavalry, or maybe just a unit or so. Yeah, let's just send a thousand men over there to uh, confiscate those lands, and we're going to work our way over here. For some reason, Portugal does have men here. I do wonder whether they're going to try and uh, colonize, but it won't be for long. All right, Japan discovered. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and uh, take that prestige. And uh, I think that's going to be pretty much this war almost over. Uh, there's really not much to the Australian uh, tribes at this point, so it's not going to be much different, uh, much different at all. Uh, a very simple mission. So, what have we got here? Uh, lose Helra or we'll stand with them against the Pope if they stand with us? Sure, let's go with neither Anglican nor Catholic. Uh, we'll help them out for now. Uh, we're never going to be friends with the Pope, so uh, we may as well do what we can and uh, get what we can with uh, all of that. So... With this in mind, it looks like uh, Australia is uh, oh, uh, dealing with some things. Oh dear. Uh, we have a native uprising. These troops are theoretically supposed to be... Uh, I still feel like they're embarking. You know what? Let's just stop for a second. Let's tell them to... Oh, let's control right click. Uh, and see if uh, that helps them out. Yeah, there we go. I've actually boarded the ships this time. Alright, well, we'll sort that out in due course. Uh, let's also go ahead and see. Can we spend any money? You know what? It's a little bit uh, expensive. Uh, let's go ahead and... we pay down inflation? It does feel like a little bit of a waste. But, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and develop... So let's go to our uh, development mode. Let's go buy a local tax. Let's just do a couple of those. That should be fine. We'll also double check tech wise. Yeah, we'll pick that up on the yearly tick. Uh, but until then, we're just going to uh, chill. All right, conversion successful. We did lose. Oh, cavalry against a couple of men. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's not ideal. Let's uh, bring these guys over there. I had not noticed that they were separate. And it looks like um, the foolish dogmatic church of hell are apparently too set in their ways. Uh, well, we lose a little bit of prestige, but we'll make it up nice and easily. Uh, let's also go ahead and chuck a general on here. That should help us out. Yeah, that's more than we need. How many men do we need? 3,000 men. Okay. I'm going to go around and... Uh, you have any siege? Yes, you do. Let's leave the cannons here. Everybody else can uh, roll on up. And uh, that's pretty much the majority of this road of this uh, war over. Yeah, if we just double check, yeah, they're being sieged down. They're being sieged down. They'll be gone in a second, and then it's just these fellows over here. Yeah, that's going to be nice and uh, straightforward. All right, so oh, uprisings. We did lose only. 12 men that time round. That's all well and good. Where was the uprising though? Ah, probably over in that other location. That's alright. We'll uh... Ah. Never mind. I'm guessing it was probably one of our subjects or something or other. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and uh, actually, you know what? 
we're going to be going to war with these fellows probably stands to reason that we bring everybody around here so let's move you down here and stop uh washing that rebellion for now and uh, we'll sort that out when we get to it all right um okay, just make it a little bit of a uh, quicker embark embarkation from uh one province to another through their ships a uh, native uprising i don't think we need the one place that we're not uh, absolute rat bags all right let's go we'll collect you we'll drop you off here hopefully uh that'll work you have enough uh the ship is healthy enough so it's not going to be a major issue yeah all right conversion successful that is ideal oh actually you know what there we go siege is over and there is our church power let's go for you know what, let's go ahead and claim the land and uh, reduce their influence. That's probably not a bad idea. We are, uh, yeah, we're about to have absolutism tick over, I think. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll do that so we can reclaim all of our land and uh, make it a little bit easier to take stuff from them. Let's go ahead and start doing that now. So what do we have here? administrative advisor costs i don't think we really need the money these days this five absolutism that we could get back uh hmm best one to get rid of religious diplomats i think we'll hold them for a while but let's remove the oversight of the clergy i think that will be fine and we can also get rid of yeah i don't care about cost of things that'll be easily satiated and uh yeah there we go we still have yeah equilibrium is nice and high this will be very simple that'll be fine uh let's see anything else we wish to deal with uh aristocratic accounts was again money is not a big deal for us hmm and then this is for loyalty of other people and whatnot Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll get rid of the aristocratic counselors. Uh, that should be fine. And then let's see. Nobility, influence, and equilibrium goes down by 10. So that'll go from 77 down to 67. Yeah, we can handle that. Let's get rid of the uh, rights of council as well for now. Let's make sure that we're doing this before we forget about things in, uh, as that comes back around. All right, they are going to be disloyal, but that's not a massive problem to us. Yeah, that's fairly insignificant. And then what else do we have? Patronage of the Arts, Free Enterprise, and Royal Advisory Board. All right, get rid of you. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get to the others as time goes on. All right, but that's still fairly decent. We have, uh, yeah, not too much to really worry about at this stage. Uh, let's go. 25% war score already. That's about to be finished. Let's go ahead and uh, pick up a new mission. Let's say for the coast of the Northwest Pacific. Sure. A uh, adios to you for now. And... In one month, we're about to pick up um, more tech, so that'll be very nice. Yep, there we go. This is uh, this is coming along very, very easily. All right, uh, manpower recovery speed for Coco. That is fantastic. Oh, I have more admin. Oh, wait, never mind. We can go for tech. So let's pick up the technology first. This will give us a mill and extra production efficiency. That is fantastic. Uh, maybe we spent just a fraction too much on our Diplo. We don't gain anything major, but we will get that soon enough. And, uh, yeah, military-wise, we are already well, well, well in advance. So, let's go ahead and, uh, pick up a couple more buildings. Manufacturers, have we got anything better? Yes, we do. 0.7 is phenomenal. Go for three of those. Alright. Not that at all so pretty solid progress there let's also figure out a peace deal what do we want to take uh conversions are going well let's take the land in fact uh yeah that should be fairly easy in fact uh yeah i was about to say if we could have taken it immediately we could have even just peaced out for a shorter cruise timer 
we haven't exactly uh, finished our uh, occupations around there to uh, make that quite work out as uh, we would want it, as they'll probably just move their land. And so, yeah. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to kill them. Uh, let's pick up that extra prestige, and I don't really feel like waiting on technology. Being ahead of time is always a good thing. Uh, let's see. How many reasons? Hmm. Uh, if we don't go for you... Portal 1. You know what? We're not going to let that slide. We're not going to take that piece off either. We're going to wait for them to, uh... Sort of run off. Let's see. I uh, probably don't want to run cannons over there either. That would be uh, a slight, slight problem, I dare say. So, uh, yeah, let's bring them uh, both up over there. And uh, honestly, I don't think we have much else to concern ourselves with. Yeah, no one else is in this war. Everyone else is fairly well occupied. Uh, 15,000 men technically are on the uh, battlefield, but that is kind of out of our purview at the moment. I think they'll be hiding in here. Oh well, with time we will discover all of that, so uh, it will be fine. It will be fine. Alright, looks like uh, Venice is paying all foreign debt of profit. Huh. Uh, okay, that's a little odd, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, if they're trying to get some better relations, why not? You know what? Oh, you guys. Let's see if we can hunt down those other fellows. Uh, let's see. They stay, and Lubeck's going to be unpopular, or we gain, or we lose. They can stay. I want the money. Um, another military leader has left us. That is not ideal, but we'll pick that up soon enough. Uh, still not quite able to negotiate this. Oh, and of course, these ratbags are... Turning around. Fine. Fine. Let's go. Uh, what do we want to do? Probably these 10,000 men can turn around and go back. In fact, uh, let's go. Actually, we're going to have to wait till we're in no man's land, aren't we? Alright, conversion's still happening. Can't. Oh, we can throw a leader on there. Let's go ahead and recruit a couple of generals. I think we can have five in total. That's four. Off up our professionalism while we are at it. Let's go for the extra maneuver just so we get there a little bit quicker. Also go ahead and uh, do some more church actions. Let's go for innovativeness and base production in some of our provinces. Hmm. Settlers. There we go. That's probably not a bad idea. You know what? for relations. We're going to have to uh, improve with everybody at some point or another, so uh, we might as well help ourselves out. Uh, let's see. You can go on to the next one. Uh, the next post. And we're almost finished. So, with that in mind, uh, yeah, they can't take that just yet. We have occupations. Is that enough? Negative. Right, fine. Looks like we're going to have to annihilate their armies, but I suppose we can uh, handle that. Uh, can we walk you into any of this land? No, it looks like it's all Terra Incognita. Probably should have picked up an explorer in there. That would have been a good idea. Oh, well, here's what it is. Uh, let's see. If we were to sue for peace from you, we could take your land. That'd be nice. We could also take all of your money. Uh, so that'll probably end up happening. Honestly, I don't care about what you... Where on earth is your province around here? Why would you get any aggressive expansion? Huh. I really can't figure that out. Alright, and if we sue for peace just for you... Yeah, that would result in your annexation. So you're not willing to do that, but would you give up both of your friends? No, you won't. Uh, we're just going to have to let things run for a while. Uh, hopefully we can get there quick enough and uh, catch them out, but if not, oh well. We'll also happily spend some more money. Money is not particularly an issue. And uh, looks like they're running away, of course. Uh, let's see if we can find them. 
We will eventually catch them one day. Siege of Fury is over. That actually could be enough for what we're after. No? Maybe. Hmm. You know what? We're going to try and catch out the army. If we can do that, that's probably when we're going to, uh... Stop for this war. Yeah, I think there's not much else that can really be done. Uh, I'm not really bothered by much of anything right now. No debate in Parliament. Exploration finished. Okay, we've got a few things. Let's go. Let's go and explore the Northeast Pacific Sea. That would be good. Please and thank you. Let's also go ahead and start a debate. What are we after? Advisor costs. Yeah, that could be nice. And approach conversion, loyalty, and admiral. Hmm. Colonists wouldn't be the end of the world either. Merchant. Sailors, that's uh, crazy. I don't think we need that many. Horrible tariffs isn't exactly a good idea either. Um, hmm. Ah, stuck with what we would possibly want here. Where is one of the things that gives us reform progress? Oh, there we go. Monthly autonomy change and reform progress. I think that's probably going to be the one that we go for. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go for. Uh, we're a fair way off our next one. Yeah, it's going to be another 17 years. So anything to help speed that up. Go ahead and uh, pick that up. Also, uh, less autonomy is always good for our, uh, what are called, government reform progress. So... That is an average. Anything that we can do is good. All right. Uh, let's go with uh, and a little bit of war exhaustion. I think we can afford that. That's essentially free at this point. Close enough to. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll pick that up. Uh, we'll go with uh, a little bit more. Sure, that'll disappear very quickly, especially once we're out. Military power, I'm not too bothered by. Bribery, I suppose we can, can afford 100 buckets. And what else do we want? Um, lose a little bit of manpower, that'll be fine. Lose a single prestige and more military support. There we go. Alright, well that'll be rather good. Now let's also quickly get over here before we finish up. We know that we had to... Take a war within within the next year. Okay, so if we're to fight these guys, yeah, holy war, we need to do it in another year's time. So, with that in mind, let's quickly tell all of these men to uh, oh march around. And apparently, we can do that without the use of our navy. But I think we'll go. Uh, no, let's just march rather not accidentally have to uh, bring another navy back from the other side of the world. That would be a little awkward. And on that note, they're also going to... Oh no, we can't upgrade those ships. I feel like there were some more that we could do. Maybe not. Oh well, either way, uh, it's not a big deal right now. We'll go ahead and uh, finish up. Uh, conversion successful. Yeah, there goes that extra prestige. We will work our way around. We can just go ahead and uh, catch them out. That would be particularly nice. Oh, and it looks like Australia may have done that for us. Yep, we're going to catch them in that bottleneck. That is going to do very well. Oh, and it looks like they are retreating. And heading in the wrong direction. So, let's see if we can uh, preemptively catch them out. And if we can, that would be uh, exactly what we're after. No, it looks like they're heading all the way back. Who are you? You're a uh, mix of the two. That's fine. We'll uh, see if you're willing to peace out just about yet. Oh, yes you are. Okay, never mind. That is all we need. Let's go ahead and grab the remainder of your money. Uh, it's more or less the principle of the thing. Not that we care if you have it. Just more that we care that you don't. Let's send that demand. That'll do nicely. Thank you very kindly. Alright, and that is another war sorted. Uh, center of Trade can also be upgraded. Let's go ahead and upgrade those while we can. 
Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. Let's go to a world port. Oh no, we already are. Now uh, where's the other one? Over here. There we go. And we'll do that a second time as well. There we are. So that will give us a very good amount of uh, trade. I think that should hopefully pan out fairly well. Uh, we are still, unfortunately, a little bit behind on technology. How far will it... Oh, sorry. How long will it take... No, we only need nine more diplo power. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, we're getting very close to the uh, next institution, which is going to try to slow things down a little bit. So uh, if we can avoid that, that is best. Uh, let's see. Anything else we care about to do? Wait a second. All right. Those guys moved across. These guys were already in a war. Um. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much all we can do. Can we declare war on these guys? We can go right back into war again, and uh, maybe finish them off. You know what? I think that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah, I just want to sort of uh, forget about Australia and not have to worry about them at a certain point. Uh, we are getting an alliance offer from Bar. They are an elector, and I do believe we do have a yeah, control elected. So we do want their vote at some point. So if that's the case, it's probably not the end of the world if we just go ahead and accept yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, start working preemptively towards some of those things. Uh, we'll also bring these guys up over there just to make sure. Yeah, and now that we're free, ooh, uh, we'll uh, declare that other war. All right, so but what do we have here? Target Catholics, Puritans, or political threats? Hmm. Well, that is an interesting choice. Uh, we will lose admin power, but honestly, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, how much church power do we actively have? We have enough. Alright, going after the Catholics. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's also pick up... What's another good thing we can do? Go for an extra 50. I think that's just going to reset the timer. I don't think that that's... Surely that has an upper limit. Probably check that out. Let's go over to Bar, because I know that they're not Catholic. Yeah, they're reformed. So if we have a look at them... Uh, let's see... Defender of the Faith, Anglican Diplomacy. Okay, so that actually does seem to stack a fair bit. Let's try this again, just because I'm curious. Uh, we'll go for the 50. Let's go ahead and do that. And now if we check out bar, 183. Okay, so it seems to max out at 100. Okay, that's fair enough. Otherwise, that would be just a little bit broken now, wouldn't it? Yeah, and if uh, we didn't have a female on the throne on our uh, as our empress, I'm sure they may even go ahead and give us a vote. Yeah, female and pragmatic sections has not been passed. Okay, well, when is that one? I don't seem to see. Uh, pragmatic sanction. Where is that? Hmm. I guess that's something the Emperor has to do? Alright, well, uh, either way, we'll let, we'll let that be. I think that'll be fine. Uh, we can pick up tech now, though, so let's go ahead and do that and gain those extra bonuses to our trade. Uh, just to make sure that we're making absolute pockets of buckets. And I think we're going to go ahead and uh, quickly declare war once again. Uh, no, not on you. That would uh, destabilize us. Uh, no, we also have truce with you. What about you? Ah, uh, we also have truce. Okay, war resort. Um, oh, well, I thought we could have uh, done that, but I guess we cannot for now. Uh, we'll just quickly uh, work on a little bit of uh, rebel suppression. Uh, but I feel like these guys are going to be fairly fine. Uh, oh no, they're actually not going to be fun. Let's uh, bring you guys up over here. We'll go... Yeah, we have 10,000 men there, but we're not going to be able to go ahead and squash them. Oh, that is not ideal. Oh, well, it is what it is. We'll figure that out. Uh, how are we doing with France? 24.6% complete. That's pretty decent. Uh, growing population. Popularity of tobacco, that is 
good for us, I suppose. Price of cocoa also goes up. That's going to be more money. Yeah, lots of manpower at the moment. That's very nice. Extra base tax in Dorset. That is fantastic as well. Uh, so yeah, we're kind of running out of things to do with our admin power. So, if that is the case, can we go to war and take any land? That may be a good idea. Let's see. What about Portugal? So, we could go for the cleansing of the heresy. We would fight Rio de Plata. That would give us... Um, Give us a stronger ally over there. I think we already outnumber them over there. We don't have claims, so it's probably not an amazing benefit. But we could theoretically get a little bit of extra land down here. Maybe, what about Aragon? You know what? We could go for cleansing of the heresy. That would be a... Oh, wait. We have a truce. Alright, so uh, I guess we're not going to quite do that just about yet. Uh, Bar will not join on in. That is very good to see. Otherwise, I don't think we really have too much more we can do. Maybe fight Sweden? Yeah, reconquest. That's actually probably not a bad idea. Gain a little bit of uh, land for Norway and then annex them at some point. Uh, yeah, and then maybe a show of superiority. Uh, let's see. War Exhaustion plus one. That seems a little bit weird. Has that always been a thing whenever we've declared a show of superiority war? Hmm. Okay, well, if that is going to be the case, uh, if we were to declare, they would have 37, 40, yeah, a good 50-odd thousand. I don't think it's going to be too much of a uh, dangerous fight for us. Uh, but before we do, I think we're going to do some last minute preparations. Probably have a few more ships that we need to build. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I think we should work on a bit of a galley fleet. At some point, we're going to have to fight Venice for Crete and uh, Cyprus from the Mamluks. So we may need a couple more galleys. So let's go ahead and let's start building them out before I forget. Uh, we'll do another one there. What's that? An extra six. Let's go seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. You know what? Fifteen for good measure. And then what else do we have? We still have a little bit of extra room. Let's go for... How many heavies have we got? We have twenty-three. You know what? I think the galleys are probably what we're going to keep on building. Yeah, let's go ahead and build up a couple more galleys. Let's go... Another 5, 10, 15, yeah, we'll just make it 30 strong. In fact, uh, you know what, let's, up it. let's go 35, that'll be rather nice. Spend a little bit of our money. Uh, we should also probably upgrade some of our light ships at some point. I think that'll be necessary, but I don't know if we'll necessarily have the cash. Oh, and it looks like we can intervene between... Who are we looking at? Austria and the Ottomans. Uh, so, what would that be? The Ottoman conquest of them. So, if we were to join... Uh, the side we would join has fewer great powers. So... Oh, right. We would have to fight on the Ottoman side because they have the two Sicilies as well as Austria. Right, well, honestly, I don't think we plan on doing that. Austria kind of needs... Oh, wow, they are not doing well at all. For an emperor, they're doing... They're doing pretty bad. Uh, well, okay, they're not doing pretty bad. They're, uh, they're a decent emperor, but they're not fighting the Ottomans. The, mind you, the Ottomans are pretty OP. Yeah, 189,000 men. That's, uh, that's going to be a tough one for them to come back from. Uh, maybe we use this as an opportunity to fight, maybe... Who could we fight at the moment? Maybe we do go for Venice. Yeah, fight Venice now, then fight uh, the Mamluks or the Delta. Yeah, you know what? That's probably a good idea. Let's see. We have uh, 23,000 men there, another 30. Let's see. What is our force limit? Uh, we can have an extra 6,000 men. That's not a particularly large amount, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Uh, let's see. 
19, 5, and 10. Let's go for another 6,000 cannons. Uh, use up a little bit of this manpower and money. Uh, hopefully that'll help things out. Let's also split. Actually, you know what? No, let's go 34. You know what? 47. Yep, there we go. Uh, we'll cancel the autonomous rebel suppression. We won't take the extra attrition. We'll uh, move down there and we will prepare for a uh, for an attack against Venice. Although, I think that's right. Before I forget, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, attack in here. Maybe set up a new colonial nation. And then from there, we'll go ahead and attack Venice and then maybe the Mammoths. I think that's the game plan for the next episode. But uh, we will see how that goes. So if you do want to see more of the Angle Flower Achievement, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content. And I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Co. This is the Leviathan, signing out.